In this video, we will look at a cybersecurity case study. The second step in the CTSC suggested process for performing a risk assessment is to identify the threats that your project faces. In the previous video, we looked at performing a system characterization. We identified the various pieces and parts of your system, including interfaces, workflows, people, organizations, hardware, and software. All of the things that make up your project and the way your system is interfaced with. With that information in hand, you are able to start looking at the various threats that are a risk to your project. The easiest way to do this is to look at your system characterization and identify your key assets. When you take an asset-based approach to the assessment, it helps you stay focused and think about discrete components. Once you have identified the key assets, begin to think about what threats face those. One way to analyze threats to your assets is by using the visual diagrams of attack trees. Attack trees are conceptual diagrams showing how an asset or target might be attacked. Attack trees have been used in a variety of applications. In the field of information technology, they have been used to describe threats on computer systems and possible attacks to realize those threats. However, their use is not restricted to the analysis of conventional information systems. Attack trees are multi-level diagrams consisting of one root, leaves, and children. From the bottom up, child nodes are conditions which must be satisfied to make the direct parent node true. When the root is satisfied, the attack is complete. Each node may be satisfied only by its direct child nodes. A node may be the child of another node. In such a case, it becomes logical that multiple steps must be taken to carry out an attack. For example, consider classroom computers which are secured to the desks. To steal one, the securing cable must be cut or the lock unlocked. The lock may be unlocked by picking or by obtaining the key. The key may be obtained by threatening a key holder, bribing a key holder, or taking it from where it is stored, that is, under a mouse mat. Thus, a four-level attack tree can be drawn, of which one path is bribe key holder, obtain key, unlock lock, steal computer. One key asset for CTSC is the documentation developed as part of our engagement with various projects. These documents include the risk assessment and security plan for the project that is the partner in the engagement. The result of the risk assessment are not something these projects want getting out to the world. With that asset identified, we can determine the attack surfaces that are available to a threat. These surfaces are points where an unauthorized source can gain entry or access to the system. In the case of the engagement information, the surfaces or points of entry were web interfaces, local devices, Google internals, and email. With these surfaces identified, we were able to then develop threats that could take advantage of the surface. For example, in the case of Google internal, threats that might arise are insider, or a Google employee doing something that will expose or corrupt the information. Or, Google might change its business model or practices. As you identify each surface for the key asset, try to think through all the situations that might cause a problem with it. Also, seek the help of outside experts. This could be department or campus resources. Another key asset is all of the public communications that CTSC produces. These are in the form of our web page, Twitter feed, and blog. Again, the attack surfaces were identified and put on the diagram. These were web interface, local devices, and server internals. Any of these assets might be breached by a compromised user credential via the web interfaces they provide. Another example might be someone using OnePass on one of their Apple devices. If this device is lost and compromised, access would be gained. This is presented a case study of the risk assessment done by CTSC on CTSC. In the following videos, we will continue this case study. 
This process can be used by NSFCI groups to perform their own risk assessment and development of a cybersecurity program. If you would like more help with building a security system, please contact CTSC. You can get contact and other information on the CTSC website, trustedci.org. CTSC Online is made possible by funding from NSF, grant number OCI 1234408.